<laughs> it was one week of this, and now we've got two weeks of the good shit. So now the good shit lasts for most of the tournament. Yeah. By the way, Thorin, in the next week, we have eight best of fives. Awesome. We have eight best of fives, um, yeah. which is a lot. By the way, also counters Riot's entire premise about their tournament. So you're yeah. telling me you could do eight best of fives in one fucking week, but you can't run more than three best of fives in the last two weeks of Worlds. I mean, you just expose yourself here, Riot, about your stupid bullshit that you've had for years about formats where all of a sudden you can do this thing. By the way, they're doing it by not changing venues, not changing venues during the entirety of MSI, which allows them to run a proper format. You do not need to move cities every week, Riot. The live audience is like 1% of your viewership. It doesn't fucking matter. Please make better formats for worlds that use the time that you have and don't move cities, or at least don't move cities for the last two weeks. Have groups in a different spot, have playoffs in a different spot, done, problem solved. Or have quarters in a different spot. Like you can figure this out in a way that actually makes sense. Rent a smaller venue so that you can fill it up for six best of fives, right? Figure it out. I also just this, always thought it was mad worlds. when they used to just move even like between fucking like portions of the tournament. Like, so if you watched the quarters in that Worlds in 2015, you were in like London. And then, like, for after that, you were in, like, fucking Paris or something. It's like, how is a fan supposed to watch the whole thing? Yeah, he, ha he has to, like, follow the band on tour around the world. What are we doing here? Like, if I want tickets, I want tickets. For what if my team wins? Oh, I can't wait to see in the semi. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, I'm just living in this country, Anna, so fuck me. I'm literally not a rich jet setter. I'm not a riot exec who thinks, yeah, well, let, I mean, them eat cake. let them eat cake, Monty, in France and then Germany and then the UK. I mean, like They've also they've also <laughs> done away with all of their best opportunities in order to have a new world's format. Like famously, when they were in one location in Iceland, they should have just pivoted the format to have double elimination and have more games because they weren't moving. Now, they could also do the same thing this year in Korea. Korea is a fucking small country, guys. It's not that hard for people to move around. Like, I get that you want some of the matches to be in Busan, but you really only need games in Busan and then somewhere in the Seoul Incheon area. And anyone in the country can get there on a bullet train in three hours so if you want tickets it's not fucking hard to like go to a game then go home immediately afterwards right or stay one yeah, night fine. at a cheap ass hotel it, you, you can stay unless you say Saban, very is, very very cheap places to stay too yeah, yeah with good you can stay, everything you can stay you can literally sleep in a gym shilbang which is a bathhouse you can go to a bathhouse for like ten dollars Sleep in the bathhouse, take a bath, refresh yourself, and just get on a train the next morning. It's like Dude, it's it, not expensive. To be fair, even the Gorshi hotels are pretty fucking cheap, especially if you're not oh, in yeah. Seoul. I'll bet it's insanely cheap, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody can do it, guys. Yeah. Like, you can figure. By the it way, out. I'll also say this: I do notice. I watch all these different shows and broadcasts. I'm not going to get into it myself, but I'm just going to say it is curious. After all those worlds we had in China, no one ever talks about why we don't have don't have events in. Don't know if it's in China anymore. What's going on? <laughs> we just not like China. What's going on, guys? Again, I'm not going to talk about it, but I'm a little dick. We so will next year, I'm sure. Out. Oh, we, I'm sure eventually. But, you know, it's just, just curious, <laughs> isn't it? It's weird how it works. You know? Well, I think, to be fair, like, obviously part of that was the insane lockdowns. But they even did have an event in China during the lockdowns. Um, and I also think because they had back-to-back -back worlds in China that it got kind of, you know, taken away. Um, so we'll see. We'll see where it, I think worlds will probably be in China next year. Yeah. But here's the problem, Monty. I'm sick of them justifying everything else based on viewership, but then like having the event held in a place that won't bring the most viewership. Like, well, which is it brother? What are we picking? Because you can have one or the other. You've got to be consistent though. So don't do, oh, suddenly I'm talking riot games here. Wait a minute. You mean Thorin, I can't just in one sense, pick one thing and I mean, then totally look, the other thing, but I do that all the look, time. Like I know that. I I would not be shocked, Thorin, if this was the last Worlds in North America this year. It should be. Come on. It should be. If There's we're been being a lot honest, there. There's really been a lot of fucking be. MSIs and Worlds there. Come on, boys. <laughs> We've given but you a good chance. Just, the, the time zone is so terrible. Um, and just objectively, guys, like the best time to do these tournaments is going to be at the time they're at right now, which is like noon in the UK slash Europe around noon, which is about 7 a.m. on the East Coast of the United States. And it's evening in Asia. And that is just if you want to capture the spot, largest yeah. viewership, that is when you do the events. It sucks. And literally the only people it sucks for is West Coast America, which is at three or four a.m. And I live there, so it does fucking suck. I will tell you that. But 
the West Coast of the United States is such a small percentage of the League of Legends viewership. Also, you have to remember that Brazil now has higher viewership than North America for League of Legends, and Brazil is two hours ahead of the East Coast. So it's a good time for Brazil as well. Um, so it, there really is just no reason, honestly, to to do anything in an, in a time zone that works. And even even in the in the U.S., like two thirds of the population is at six or seven a.m. That's not terrible to wake up for. And at least you're going to be able to catch up, catch the later games because it's going to go until like noon, you know, Eastern time. So it's all to say that I, I really think that running more international in, events in NA is just a huge mistake. And we should probably see them just in Europe. If I was running this thing, I would really just focus on Europe and Asia from this point forward. Do we get into some of the matchups? Because there's some fun let's ones here, some really fun ones. Like one that, like we said it earlier, so let's just do the most competitive one in terms of if you want the Western upset. It is quite clearly the Cloud9 BLG one. That's just your best chance. To see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content, well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.